Hey guys, Jake and James from Flawless Films here again. Today we've got another tutorial for you. Today we're going to have a quick look at camera sensors in full frame versus cropped camera sensors and we're going to see what the benefits and the drawbacks for each of these may be. But let's start with a quick tip. The full frame sensor is judged by the size of what old 35mm film would have been. The benefits to having a larger sensor are better low light performance, a better depth of field performance, and a better dynamic range. Now, these things are all just a bit generalized. You can find some crop sensors that are good and some full frame ones that are bad, but these are just the general rules, remember. So we're gonna move on to the drawbacks of having a larger sensor. And the main thing for this is the price. If you've got a larger sensor, it usually means it's in a more expensive camera, but that is what comes with a better performance. So this also means it'll usually be a larger and heavier piece of equipment, and also that you're gonna need more expensive glass to put on the end of that camera. So all in all, although you get a better picture, it's gonna cost you a lot more to use use. Next we're going to have a quick look at the benefits and the drawbacks of a cropped camera sensor. Now for you, all of you out there who shoot on DSLRs just as a quick rough guide on Canons the crop sensor is 1.6 times what it would be on a full frame. So for example of this if you've got a 35 millimeter lens on a full frame camera it actually appears as though it's a 56 millimeter on a cropped camera. Now we'll show a little diagram on the screen to kind of explain that a bit more and because it also goes with Nikon it's not quite the same where it comes out as a 1.5 times instead. Yeah so moving on to the the benefits of a crop sensor obviously going on what we said previously these are going to be a lot cheaper kit lenses will only actually work on a crop sensor camera um, so if you've got a really nice camera with a full non-crop sensor then these kit lenses aren't going to work on that okay and the second benefit is it still gives a really nice quality with a crop sensor the gap between full frame sensors and crop sensors is reducing with the improvements in technology so it's kind of showing that that gap is just reducing every day really Okay, it also makes telephoto lens shooting very effective because it means you don't really have to be as close to the subject that you're shooting as you would with a full frame sensor. So then moving on to the drawbacks of a crop sensor. One of the main problems is obviously as it's cropped, you have a narrower field of view, which comes back to the crop factor. So your 50 mil becomes an 80 mil, your 35 mil becomes 56. So this means that if you're in a small space, it actually makes the shoot a lot more awkward and difficult than it would be if you just had that full frame camera. Okay, one of the other obvious drawbacks is pretty much opposite to what we said for the benefits of the large frame sensor. You're gonna have a lower low light performance, depth of field and dynamic range. Um, so make sure you keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it. If you're looking at full frame versus crop sensor, basically the full frame is going to give you more control, which gives you a larger creative freedom to produce the shots you're looking for. But at the end of the day, full frame isn't always better. Yeah, hopefully this gives you some of the information you were looking for. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. We shall see you Saturday. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video because that really helps us out. Yeah, thank you guys. Bye. 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 Remix.